because when I heard it, I was like, what? Like, you serious? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I just had to take a deep breath. Never gives my baby right there. Now, check this out. I want to give a shout out to rockstarbase.com. I tried to get this news out first, but they got the news out first. So, shout out to them. I got to give them their props, but... They spoke about what if Grand Theft Auto 3 and, and um, San Andreas and Vice City was all in high definition with trophies and achievements and all of this stuff. Like, they put it out there, but they had a question mark about it. And they were just, you know, wondering what it would be. Well, I got to give them their props because they probably know already too. But Grand Theft Auto, you know, well, at least for the PS3 version, is actually supposed to be coming with all in one Blu-ray. Like so, Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and um, San Andreas with um trophies, you know, achievements on the 360 and everything. Is um, I'm not sure when, but we should get some news about um the next Grand Theft, like the remastered versions of Grand Theft Auto, um, possibly in May, a month before E3. So I that's, that's what I'm hearing right now. Now I know Rockstar don't talk to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? They real tight lipped on everything. And I'm gonna be honest, this didn't come directly from Rockstar. But someone that's real close to Rockstar that I know personally, you know, just looked out. You know, that's all I can say, just looked out. And um hopefully, you know, they not bull jiving or whatever. But I'm telling you right now, though the way things is going on right now. Be, to be honest with you, yeah, it's 9 times out of 10, it will be here, it is coming, Grand Theft Auto Remastered, and a lot of people that left comments on rockstarbase.com talking about that they'll buy it, they're excited, well, you know, get excited, because I am excited too, because when that comes out, I'm getting it, day, like, negative one, like, before day zero, before it even, uh, before the day start, I'm going to have it, because that, I've been waiting for that. You know what I'm saying? And finally, it seemed like it's going to come. So, one love to Rockstar. Thank you guys so much. Salute for giving the fans what we want, man. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy right there. So, without further ado, we're about to go into the game review of the day. And guess what? Guess what? I'm reviewing a Wii game today, dog. A Wii game. But there's a reason why I'm reviewing this game. Be right back. Okay, that was fast. I'm gonna show you something right now. This game right here should be able to change all of your soul that came with you when you was born in the sin. Like, it's, I'm telling you. This game right here, I gave it a 10 out of 10. Now, I hear a lot of people say, Hip Hop Gamer, every game isn't good, this and that. Let me tell you, every game ain't meant to be easy, all right? There's gonna be some games that require skill. So a lot of you that's complaining about, like, shout out to my man, I think it's uh, Capito or Capito or something like that, shout out to him. But on a war zone recently, he spoke about, like, me saying every game is good, this and that. And he kind of complained about Dark Boy, about he can never land on a platform. It requires skill to land. When you're in the air, take the right analog stick, look down so you can see where you're landing and control it well. That's it. Or if you hide in the air, push circle, start hovering, push X real quick, did you, you know, like that. Excuse me, then you can land properly, okay? So, every game ain't gonna be that damn easy. Games require skill. If you keep messing up, get better at the game. The only games that's bad is when you do something and it doesn't respond when you do it. Meaning that if you push a button and it's like a one second or a second and a half delay, that's like playing an online game with lag, but you're playing it offline. Now that's bad. That's really bad. Other than that, you know, play the game, learn it, be skillful at it, and then you'll enjoy it for what it is. Every game ain't meant to be that easy. If that's the case, play on easy. Simple. But anyway, back to the review of the day. Bow! Shout out to Ubisoft making one of the most incredible games ever. No More Heroes 2. This game right here will blow you away so much, I ain't even saying no more shit about it. I gave it a 10 out of 10. You don't believe me? Watch the damn review and then you gonna understand. If you don't understand after that, then, you know, I, I can't even talk to you. Don't even hit me up. Don't even go to my site. Nah, come, you come to my site if you want. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, No More Heroes 2 is fire, man. I'm telling you, you gonna love it. Now, after that, we gonna go into the Hip Hop R Double S, 
we gonna close it out. But hold up, I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, that's right. GameFanatics.com. Big shout out to you guys because you guys are the guests on Gamers in the Street today. So shout out to my boy Travis and all my peoples over there. Marlon, you already know what it is. Stay tuned because the Gamers in the Street today is really fire, it's really hot, and it's, and it's real. Like, you're going to love it, alright? So, game review coming up next. No more heroes. Then, game is in the street. Then, we're going to close it out with Hip Hop R Double S, and I'm going to see you Sunday. Ain't nothing else to do, baby. Peace. Yo, yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Hip Hop Gamer. Yo, no more heroes. Hands down. In my opinion, in my soul. It is a 10 out of 10. This game will blow you away in so many ways, in so many areas. You just got to look at the footage to find out for yourself. Let's do it. Okay. First of all, here's the deal. The game, from a graphical standpoint, looks amazing. The art style is crazy. Whoever drew these characters and the way they made them, it just... It, it brings out not just detail in the body work, but it brings out detail in their personality, their style and everything. This game is incredible. It, and I, I mean, the graphical detail for this to be a Wii game, it's like, it, it, doesn't, make, it doesn't make any sense. Your eyes will be popping out bleeding. And, the, and this game is so graphic. I'm talking about blood and everything. Forget Mad World right now. Yo, know, this game, you will get your head cut clean off. Blood everywhere. Like, this game is definitely one of the, the best Wii titles. One of the best to ever grace the console. I love it. Right, that's one. Two, gameplay. The gameplay is very, very tight and responsive. Especially for a motion system. Look at that. Look at that. That is crazy. Now, it's very tight and responsive for um, a, a Wii game, you know, with motion controls, with th with this many dynamics to the gameplay itself. It's genius the way they did it. You know, big shout out to Ubisoft. Now, also, what I think is real credible is the way the moves are. Like, the moves are so incredible, and it's so much that you can do. Like in the game, like look at this dude. It's like the, I mean, it never ends. Like this game is incredible. It always gonna, you know, catch you by surprise. But the moves are incredible. I mean, you got a mixture of martial arts. You got fatalities when you chopping people's heads off. You got wrestling moves. You got you be power bombing people in here, man. It, the game has such a deep gameplay variety that. The fact that it works so well with the Wii mode, this game is an example of what all other games should be and play like in terms of working well with the motion. This is crazy. This is definitely going to change a lot of people's minds when they play this, when they think about the other upcoming systems with the Natal and the Sony's uh, arc. It's going to definitely change your mind. You're going to want to get involved. Characters. One thing I like about games is how the characters stand out. You actually got a uh, a personal attachment to my man Travis Touchdown. You see what I'm saying? That's the main character. And you going through his life and his story and his revenge. And the characters, the way they, this game focuses, focuses on them is so important because it engages you. It makes you want to keep playing to the end. So the characters is really, really well designed, really stand out well. Mini games, they got retro games, so you be like, you, they got this bubble bobble type of, not bubble bobble, they got this bubble type of thing, you be shooting and stuff like that, then they got like this like joint where you going through the levels and you sucking up bugs and stuff, it's crazy. You got side jobs you can do aside from the main campaign whenever you're ready to continue or not. I mean, this game goes deep, man. It is incredible. You would not be disappointed with this title by far. There's so many things you can do in here. Um, another thing is, which is so cool, is that you got your own apartment. So in your own apartment, you could. If you want to save the game, you take a shit. You take a shit to save the game. If you want to learn new moves, you read a magazine and discover new moves. It is crazy. It's so, like, deep in detail, man. And that right there is what's going to, you know, hold you. Look at this part right here. Look at that. That's crazy, man. Now, just to, um, you know, finish it up with the gameplay, you can use the actual classic controller. So if, you're not, if you don't want to use the Wiimote for this game... 
you use the classic controller. So that right there just covers everything. That is amazing right there. Now, also the sound. The sound is real great. I mean, the sound sounds real good from the weaponry, the gunshots. It, just the whole mood and feel of the game when you listen to the sound as you fight and it makes you want to keep fighting and you stay engaged in it so that's important and that's hot the features in this game I mean one thing I like is that they have location choices how a lot of other games you gotta walk around to find the places you